Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. A few days ago, I dropped a video asking, can I edit videos like Magnates Media in CapCut on PC? Well, guess what? Today, we're diving into it. I'm going to break down the process step by step so you can create those amazing edits yourself. So, first things first. While editing this kind of video, we split it into the parts to do that. I have the audio, I will cut the audio before the name. JP Morgan revealed for first time. Synonymous with wealth, power, and influence. In the annals of American history, one name stands out above the rest. A name synonymous with wealth, power, and influence. In our opening shot, we have a person standing, and we're about to transform the entire atmosphere into something truly captivating. Step 1. Importing the sky. First off, I scoured the web for a dynamic sky video that would bring life to our scene. After downloading, I imported it into CapCut. This moving sky is the key to elevating our opening shot. Step 2. Setting the scene. Now, let's position our sky perfectly. By tweaking the properties, specifically setting the X coordinate to 52 and the Y coordinate to 385, we create a seamless blend, making it look like a cinematic backdrop. Step 3. Keyframe magic, the secret source of animation. I planted the first keyframe right at the beginning of our video. Over the scale property, I set the value to 100. This ensures our sky starts at its original size. Get ready for the wow factor. The second keyframe, strategically placed at the end of our footage, is where the magic unfolds. By adjusting the scale property to 77, we create a gradual and cinematic zoom effect, giving the impression that the sky is in constant motion. Now that we've set the stage with our dynamic sky, it's time to bring our scene to life. I went on a hunt for the perfect street image, and let me tell you, it was a journey. Step 1. Finding the perfect street image. Hours of searching for that ideal New York City street image from the 19s. It was a challenge, but persistence pays off, and I finally found one that matched my vision. Step 2. Refining the image. Before downloading, I needed to refine the image. Using the magic of Remove BG, I effortlessly removed the sky background, leaving us with just the city streets. Step 3. Importing the refined street image. With the refined image in hand, I imported it into CapCut. Now, let's position our city streets perfectly. Setting the X and Y coordinates both to zero, we ensure it aligns seamlessly with our sky backdrop. Step 4. Animated transformation. Here comes the animation magic. I added the first keyframe at the beginning, setting the scale to 119%. As our scene progresses, I place the second keyframe at the end of the footage, cranking up the size to 144%. But we're not done yet! To add that extra flair, I introduced rotation. Starting at 1 degree and ending at 1 degree, we've added a subtle twist to our cityscape. Now that our sky and city streets are alive, it's time to introduce a key element, our character. Step 1. Finding the perfect image. The quest for the right image was quite the adventure. Finally, after a bit of digging, I stumbled upon the perfect shot. A man in a suit standing with his back to us, adding that touch of mystery. Step 2. Refining the image. Before we download, we need to refine our character. Using remove.bg, I seamlessly removed the background, leaving us with the striking figure of our man in a suit. Step 3. Importing the refined character image. With our refined character in hand, I imported him into CapCut. Placing him on our scene, I set his position to X0 and Y0, ensuring he seamlessly integrates into our backdrop. Step 4. Animated transformation. Now, let's make our character dynamic. I added the first keyframe at the beginning, setting the scale to 148% and rotation to 3 degrees, giving him a subtle twist. As our video progresses, I placed the second keyframe at the end of the footage. Here, I adjusted the size to 109% and the rotation to 2 degrees, adding a natural flow to his presence in our scene. And there we have it, a dynamic composition. Our man in the suit stands against the vibrant cityscape and moving sky, adding that touch of sophistication to our video. Now that we've set up our base scene, let's fine-tune it to perfection. There's a subtle difference between our actual video scene and what you're seeing now. To bridge that gap, we're going to use some adjustments like saturation, brightness, and more. Step 1. Accessing Adjustments. Click on the Adjustment tab right after the Animation tab. 
This is where the real magic happens. We'll be adjusting each layer one by one to bring our scene to life. Step two, adjusting the sky layer. Starting with our sky video, let's make it pop. Adjust the properties, saturation to 22, brightness to five, highlights to 24, and add a touch of vignette at 33. These tweaks will seamlessly integrate the sky into our composition. Step three, adjusting the city street layer. Now onto our city street. Apply the 1980 filter to enhance its vibrancy. Apply a saturation of eight, brightness of 14, contrast of 12, and a vignette of 36. Watch how these adjustments harmonize our cityscape. Step four, adjusting the character layer. Finally, let's polish our character. Apply a brightness of 18, illumination at 13, and a subtle vignette of 23. These adjustments will ensure our man in the suit seamlessly blends into our dynamic scene. Our base scene has undergone a transformation. These meticulous adjustments have brought our video frame closer to the real scene, ensuring a polished and captivating composition. Now, to add a touch of eminence, we're going to create impactful words. To do this, we'll switch over to Canva, a fantastic AI-based design web application. In case you're not familiar with Canva, it's a free-to-use design tool offering a plethora of resources. If you're interested in a full-length tutorial on how I gather my editing resources, let me know in the comments. But for now, let's dive into creating those compelling words. First things first, open Canva. Search for video in Canva's search bar and click on Create Blank to start a new project. After the project loads, click on the blank canvas, set the background color to black, and then click on the text option. Choose Add a Heading and a text box will appear on your canvas. Double click on the text box and type the word you want. In our case, it's wealth. Change the font to Open Sans, make it bold. Choose a color, I'm going for an orange shade. Adjust the text size according to your preference. I'll set it to 1 to 50. Now, here's the magic. To achieve that glowing text effect, select the text, go to Effects, click on Glow, and keep the default value, which is 50. Duplicate the text, and for the duplicated one, remove the glowing effect by clicking on None. Align both texts with each other. Repeat this process for the other two words. Create each text separately, choose colors, adjust sizes, apply the glow effect, and align them. Once you're satisfied, download each text file separately in image format. Now, import them into CapCut one by one. Now that we have our glowing words from Canva, let's dive into CapCut. After importing, grab the first word, wealth, and sync it seamlessly with our audio for that perfect timing. Once synced, select the blend mode, brighten, to remove the black background, integrating it seamlessly into our scene. Now, for the exciting part, animation. Set keyframes for three properties, scale, position, and opacity, all in the same place at the very beginning of the text. For the first keyframe, let's make the word grand. Scale it to 155%, position it at X searched 9008, Y99, and set the opacity to 5%. Now, move to the end of the text image, add the second keyframe, and let's bring it to life. For the second keyframe, set the scale to 110%, Position it at X706, Y84, and crank up the opacity to 100%. And there you have it. The word wealth, gracefully animated, growing in size, shifting position, and perfectly synced with the rhythm of our audio, all while seamlessly removing the black background, making our video scene truly dynamic. Now that we've animated the first word, wealth, let's seamlessly repeat the process for our second word, power. The steps remain the same, only the values will change. Once imported, drag the power word to the timeline and sync it with our audio to ensure a harmonious rhythm. Now select the blend mode, brighten to eliminate any unwanted background, ensuring a smooth integration into our scene. Just like with wealth, let's set keyframes for scale, position and opacity at the very beginning of the text. For the first keyframe, let's give power its grand entrance. Set the scale to 155%, position it at X106, Y113, and set the opacity to 11%. Move to the end of the text image, 
add the second keyframe and let's bring power to its full glory. For the second keyframe, set the scale to 110%, position it at X0932, Y184 and crank up the opacity to 100%. With wealth and power dynamically animated, let's now bring the third word, influence, to life. The process is familiar with some variations in values. Similar to the previous words, drag influence into the timeline and sync it with our audio to maintain the fluidity of our composition. Once positioned, select the blend mode Brighten to ensure a smooth integration, eliminating any unnecessary background. Now let's delve into the animation. Set keyframes for scale, position and opacity at the very beginning of the text. For the first keyframe, let's give influence its grand entrance. Scale it to 155%, position it at X823, Y437 and set the opacity to 6%. As we reach the end of the text image, add the second keyframe and let's bring influence to its full glory. For the second keyframe, set the scale to 110%, keeping the position the same as the first keyframe and crank up the opacity to 100%. We have finally complete the first scene and now you can enjoy the final reveal. In the annals of American history, one name stands out above the rest, a name synonymous with wealth, power and influence. I hope you enjoyed the creative process. If you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more insights and share your thoughts in the comments. Your support means the world. See you in next video.